Hello and welcome to Mr. Lambanda. Here we have in front of us is the ICOM IC7410 or IC7410 as is known in the trade. Cracking transceiver, HF and 6 meters. As you can see, it does have a very similar look, if not an identical look, to the IC9100. So if you are in the market considering the IC9100, this is what your transceiver would look like, but with dual display, with HF, VHF and UHF and SHF equally displayed top and bottom. Let's take you in and have a look at a few of the controls. You'll notice a very similar layout to many of the other icons. Uh, 756 Pro 3, the 7600, this was still got the cellophane on, has been our demo model. We'll take it around the side, and there, the carry handle, speaker point on the top, and then moving around, just turning the volume down a little bit. Moving around the side of the transceiver, so you can have a good view of what it looks like. And there we go. Back of the transceiver, you'll see two aerial sockets for HF and 6 meters, DC power lead, a standard socket for using an external tuner, could be the LDG equipment, uh, also optional AT180 as well. And you'll also see on the back there's some blanking sockets. Those sockets are uh, for use on the IC9100 for uh, 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and SHF and 23 centimeters. Plugs in and USB and also you're able to use it with the remote control software that I come off to offer which we will be offering very shortly and probably giving you a demonstration on a Mr. Lambander. Take another look at the transceiver, have a little wind through, see if we can find some signals that may be of interest. Our tower at the minute is wound up at 40 feet but we're undergoing a bit of a rainstorm and thunder and lightning as well. The bands aren't in particular good condition today. And there we go. There's just a little brief outline of the IC7410. Just take a closer look across the front of the transceiver as well. You can also click online at www.lamcom.eu. Down the left hand side of the page of our website, find transceivers. Click on base transceivers and then click on ICOM and there's more information on there. Once again, thanks for watching, Mr. Lambander, the IC7410.